Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack, and today, at recommendation of a commenter, and I'm sorry I've already forgotten your name because I'm kind of dumb, I'm trying out the demo for the Norwood Suite. And I am not really sure what I'm getting myself into, but I took a quick look at its Steam page, and it seemed really interesting, and I kind of wanted to see uh, what it was all about. And at this point, I'm not sure if the game's loading or if it's just trolling me. Oh, it was just loading, okay. So we arrive at our destination. Always click to advance dialogue spoken at you. The Hotel Norwood. I left a hotel voucher for you in the cave up the hill. Present it at the front desk, it'll get you a free room. Trust me, you'll fit right in. The payment won't be wired to you until tomorrow. I just... You need to turn your base down a tiny bit. I also just noticed that eyeball on your necklace. One thing to know about the Hotel Norwood, everyone's looking for something here. So in a sense, it's not just you or your, me you're working for. Good luck, we believe in you. Okay, what? Well, Peter Norwood, notable pianist, was the original owner of this estate. After his disappearance in 1983, this place got turned into the hotel in his name. Most of the characters stayed here. So he lived here for years. A few of those folks might still be lingering. That voucher will take you further than many who have come before you. Ha! I too stayed here a while back. Even before it became a hotel. Memories of long nights in the old damp rooms. The music was great, sure. World class. My history of this place is better left in the rear view. Alright. That's... that's... fit. Oh. Alright. Peter Norwood was the original owner. Okay, they're just repeating themselves now. Everything is just a little bit loud. All right, that's a nice cityscape. All right, so the Hotel Norwood. All right, you can observe certain diamonds by clicking on them. Let's have a look. Blue Moose Energy Drinks presents DJ Bogart. Chad Blueprint, Gemini G, Rumpled Sweater at the Hotel Norwood Basement. Costume mandatory. Oh, there's speakers! It's like, why on earth is that so loud? But like, it's because I'm standing right next to a speaker. That would do it. Wow. Cosmo D presents the Norwood Suite. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but you have my attention now. Some items can be picked up. Cyclist helmet. Press tab to open your backpack and select the helmet. Right click to return the item to your backpack. Alright. Those... Okay, this is a really random observation, but those stone heads with their, like, mono eye kind of reminds me of Moomin Rider from One Punch Man. There's a train going by. This has got some fantastic ambiance. I love this. Before, you had my curiosity. Now, you have my intrigue. You can eavesdrop on conversations or interrupt them. You should never have taken that turn. Look where we are, the Hotel Norwood. Hotel Norwood. You usually don't act so surprised. I read about this place a few times. They wrote up here on unicycles? History and text notebooks, album liner notes, the name Norwood comes up a lot. Here it is, a big black star on my trusty old map. I'm not gonna find this on any new maps, Hands. Maybe I wanted to find this place. But Hands, why? DJ Bogart's party, of course, tonight's his 300th show. Please, did you really want to take me here? I have my reasons, Margie. Should at least get a room. 
couldn't afford a room. Oh, that's bad planning. It's too late at night to be frugal. You understand this place. It's not like the hotel where you just get a room. What? I'm sorry, we stayed that one hotel that charged by the hour. Okay, I forgave you for that already. DJ Bogart will get us through the night. That's a thing. This place is just too expensive for us. A year ago, you wouldn't have said that. A year ago, I couldn't have taken bike trips like this. Bike, right. Stop at the office crunching numbers for the Medulo. Keep trying to convince yourself you did the right thing by leaving. Five years I gave to that company. When I quit, people kept asking, are you really sure? What they meant are, are you really okay? Truth is, Marge, I think they're here. Ex colleagues from the Modulo? So the reps are here on some kind of business trip. Why is that getting louder? Hi. I think I've seen you from somewhere. Yeah, you sort of look familiar. Who are you, pleasantly? Actually, have you seen my helmet? No. Nice, you got my helmet. I'll take it off your hands. Are you gonna actually wear it now? That looks, uh, ta da! <laughs> oh, it's over. Uh, there is no. There is no. There is no volume, guys. I'll just have to take care of that in post. What is this? Notice. Due to recent incidents on Lover's Bridge, the bridge will remain closed until further notice. Nadia Management. There goes that train. Really close, actually. Like, man, like, it's overpoweringly loud. Click and the lever and this works for all door handles. Wow, there is just a lot to take in right now. Look at you go. Galbunga, dude. Hmm. Some doors need keys. Oh, there's the key! An aquarium storage box. Gate control battery. Hotel voucher. Oh, this is what she meant by the cave. I guess it is kind of a cave, right? Certain items can be placed. So, it's like an adventure game. Uh, like, I'm kind of getting, like, a really, really heavily musically inspired inspir like, uh, incarnation of, like, the seventh guest. Maybe that's too old a reference. <laughs> like I said, I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into, but, um, this is just super cool. They had a style in mind, and they did everything they could to make the most out of it. Hi! Greetings, stranger! So you picked up that voucher there, right? Good. We need to get a room at the hotel. Dottie and Sandra are at the front desk. They'll help check you in. Well, they'll try, anyway. My brother Dustin, he runs the concierge. He'll help you with everything else. Is this a warning, though? People might mistake you for one of the staff. Don't take it personally, you just have the look. You might want to even consider lending a helping hand. We could use it, doesn't the concierge will guide you there? Claim you pay me? You don't fresh an operation here at the Hotel Norwood? Ha! <laughs> just don't tell Nadia how I said that. It's an active night to drop in on the hotel, stranger. This party tonight downstairs in the hotel basement. DJ Bogart is done playing his 300th consecutive weekend gig. Think about it, a show every weekend. The guy's a machine. I still remember when he had to beg for gigs. He says they'd laugh him out of the city. But Nadia, under infinite wisdom, gave him a shot. 
sees things the rest of us don't, that Nadia. She knew he'd put the Hotel Norwood back on the map. That's why she gets that nice cushy office and I'm stuck watching over a parking lot. So, the central lines. For me, it all starts with a long, long hike and a wrong turn. I get the feeling a lot of people have a lot to tell me. Walked in the front door up yonder, no idea who Norwood was or anything. By my luck, people thought I worked here, so I played along. I'm still playing along. <laughs> I remember my first weekend here. First over ordered, the office over ordered a supply of butter. Came does this massive 20 foot cube. So some of the guests start to use it as a slide, human bodies carving out a butter mountain. That would be quite the sight. I would have to, uh... Alright, alright, we're, we're on the same page now. <laughs> you know what? If there was a giant 20-foot block of butter, I would probably power slide through it, too, in interest of fairness. Well, I mean, I'm already talking to everyone. Why not make myself... Guys, I just done your promotion, Lucy. Thanks, Courtney. I honestly didn't see it coming. That's the third one in the last, what, two years? I'm not really doing anything that remarkable, Courtney. Naoko would disagree. Oh, that Naoko. Really, you can't stop singing your praises at meetings. Uh, I gotta hand it to my team of assistants. They're not getting the pay raise you are, Lucy, remember that. Their turn is coming. Maybe it's come already. Can't do this high level data analysis without them, Courtney. In that case, would you have to redistribute your raise so they get a share? Oh, absolutely not! <laughs> then accept my congratulations and have a drink with me. You know I don't drink, Courtney. Not even a can of Blue Moose. Regrettably swimming in it up here. You think DJ Bogart for that. After this weekend, this party here will be history. I want to enjoy that Blue Moose while it still flows freely. Looks like you've already enjoyed a bit too much. Alan Miranda's got nothing on our team. I do feel like we're overlooking some crucial detail. Whatever it is, Miranda's certainly going to exploit it. Let me put you at ease, Lucy. In the last three months, I've taken numerous meetings with Nadia, buttered up the staff, literally. I even got to influence the makeup of the board itself. Isn't that a bit underhanded? Everyone has their price, Lucy. That's right. Okay, now I really need some blue moose. <laughs> Hi. Service at last! Oh, they really do think they work here. Hotel Norwood will serve their guests anywhere on the grounds, Lucy. You sure this person's even affiliated with Hotel Courtney? I am not. Absolutely. In fact, did you bring us a six pack of Blue Moose? I'm parched. You need to get us in trouble for harassing other guests, Courtney. Nonsense. Oh, my Blue Moose, please. As we're clear, the Modillo is not tipping staff this weekend. Any issues, and you can take it up with Nadia. We're tired of no tipping possibly with Nadia already. I think it's important that the transition starts preemptively. Really that confident about this board meeting, huh? Now you're gonna be more confident if I get some blue moose in my gullet. Damn. Yeah, 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 whatever. Maybe I'll help you out, maybe I won't. I don't know why I'm just going into people's trunks randomly. I guess I was just curious. Rope and a hook and a cheese wheel. I am not going to ask what you're doing, but I imagine it's going to be good fun. <laughs> kitty? Pet kitty? That's... Something hatched back here. I hope that was deliberate. Party transports. Uh, pizza and whipped cream? Or spray cheese. The Medulo. Company handbook. Alright. If I 
happen to stumble across across a case of blue moose, I will bring it to them. If I don't, well, they can get over it. It's like piano hall and the main access. Let's take my head in real quick. Probably can't get all that far. Wow. Ain't this fancy. I'm not really a party animal myself, Peter Norwood. Tickets reserved. Oh, somebody would tell me more about who he is. Cat. Due to recent incidents at Loner's Cliff, the cliff trail will remain off. No <laughs> so there's Lover's Bridge and Loner's Cliff. Are you, are you trying to tell me something? So 35 odd years ago. Peter Norwood is last seen sitting here at this very piano. No offense, but can we get to the point, Miss Davis? Come on, Miss Davis, I'm listening. On this record, I'll be hearing the Norwood Suite in F minor. The Red Seal recording from 1968. Never heard of it. Betsy, you didn't watch that video Miss Davis assigned, did you? You don't need to watch old videos to play this stuff, Ellie. I feel it's important to gain historical context of the music that we play. Especially Norwood's music. So this guy was quite the musician, then. To get on with it, I have places to be. DJ Bogart's par dance party downstairs, Betsy. Ladies, I had to pull a lot of strings to get the administrators to sign off on this field trip. I can play this stuff in my sleep, Miss Davis. Why are we really here? Look, you're going to pass my class. I'm going to need your full attention tonight. We still need a record needle if we're going to listen to anything. I already asked the front desk, and they're sending someone to get it for us. Taking way too long. What's the hold up? Just focus on all these paintings, ladies. Norwood surrounded himself with amazing collaborators. They're staring down at us from the walls right now. So I see. I don't recognize any of these people. I would just want to learn about Norwood, Miss Davis. Betsy, Norwood couldn't have done what he did without his colleagues. Yeah, but I'm not learning of how to play oboe or cello. But this weekend, I will have fulfilled my humanities requirement. I can't believe you, Betsy. This is much more, so much more important than that. Okay, then who's on the wall in the cowboy hat? Klaus Claus Burlington. Should I know who that is? Well, he was one of the leading cellists of his generation. Whenever he in Norwood gave a public concert, he caused a traffic jam from here to Yonksville. So they installed this massive speaker system. People had picnic throughout the grounds, listening in. My parents even tried to go, but they couldn't get near this place. Great uncle still has tapes of those shows. So this guy was a big deal then. Great. This record I have here is even better. Assuming we even get to listen to it. I know some blue moose. I saw a guy wheeling around kegs of it. Blue moose is terrible for you, Betsy. We can get you whatever you, whatever drink you want after this lesson is over. Why don't you play something for us, Miss Davis, to pass the time? Miss Davis can't right now. Whoops, I didn't say anything. It's in the night of subsid. Whoa, can I explore this place while we wait? Absolutely not. I hear the beats coming from downstairs. Horrible. Music isn't for appro isn't for appropriate this lesson. I need to stay here with me the whole time. Okay. Hi. Hello, well, will this stranger be joining our cultural field trip? I, I guess. Let's plan his ground to a halt. He's gonna play this record, but there's no needle. We already asked that woman, Dottie. She said there were some old record players in Norwood's old room. Sigh, useless. Completely out to lunch. Maybe try the concierge. You run across a record needle? Miss Davis, I need this little record like now. That's already running two hours behind schedule. Why the hurry? I want to get in line to see JG, DJ Bogart. Alright, alright. I will help in whatever capacity I can. Let's see. Hmm. It's missing some of its ivories. Curious thing, Matt. Let's see. What do we got going on? Board meeting tomorrow, 11 a.m. sharp. No stragglers. Nope. Taking of photos or recording of audio video. Strictly prohibited. Energy drinks courtesy of Blue Moose will be provided. 
You know, I really don't care for how below my pay grade it is. Hi, Dirk Saunders. Regional marketing VP for Blue Moose Energy Drinks. Still love rolling around these damn kegs. After hauling this load, I could really use a dip in the pool, though. Keep an eye out on my aquatic swimmer lying around, will ya? Gross. But yeah, sure, I'll let you know. Ah, this list links back to the front. No tipping. Hotel staff should your business listed tips in matter of hotel appliance assistance. <laughs> Getting up to a little mischief, don't mind me. Hello, and welcome to all visitors. There's still much more for you to discover. And don't you have some un unfinished business, something important to deliver? Many secrets await you, with many unforgettable characters to meet. Won't you extend your stay? I wonder if that was a time thing? Like, did I run out of time? Or. Well, there was a lot to go through, but, like. You can color me intrigued. Leave a comment down below and let me know if this is something you'd want to see me follow up on, because this is fascinating. Uh, I'm just really intrigued. There's this atmosphere that I can't quite put to words, but I find it just undeniably amazing. This has been the Hipster Snack, and this was the demo for the Hotel Norwood. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.